take a deep breath in. And then prepare yourself to train right to the limit. Let's go. All right, I hope you're ready. This is Rumble Fit, martial arts, skills and drills. It's basic, it's our standard toe tap this way. And you'll see this in almost any aerobics program anywhere in the world. It's old school, it's Jane Fonda. It will always work. So from here, it doesn't work so well with punching. It works good with knee strikes. So you can tap knee, tap knee. This is a straightforward knee strike. Tap knee, other side. Tap knee, tap knee, tap knee. So your hands are up and then the knee is straight in. Pull the hip under your... 15 more, knee strike, knee leg, 15 with the left. One, I'm up on the toes. Two, get your hips in. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, three down, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. For the other side, right knee strike. Fifteen more. One, two, three. Straight down, four. Bring your hands up. Five, and then bring them down. Come up on the toes. 15. Now the next knee tap, you can keep those hands in. Think of a stance, but it's a neutral stance. And swivel, twist. So with the twist, we have a twist punch or a straight punch. What I want is a straight punch. So you turn your hips every time. You're still tapping the floor, but now we're gonna turn it into no tap. Your feet now stay grounded. Almost all martial arts will agree, it's better to keep those feet grounded. And this is our left, right back and forth. From here, it's gonna be hook, hook. So it's still this foot, pivot, this swivel, back and forth, and turn the hip. So with the hook, your elbow, your hand, shoulder, hip, knee, are all connected, back and forth. Left, right, left. And this is your midsection working. This is your footwork, coordination. The obliques get ripped. The glutes are working, keep blending back and forth, side, side, elbow high, and the other hand always comes back up. So blend into uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. So the hip comes in and up, in and up, in and up. So we're working in this motion, boom, boom. Don't extend past your own eye level. It's not up here, it's not like a video game. It's tight, tight. And your hand comes right back to protect your jaw. Elbows are in tight, your chin is down a little, Back and forth, uppercut. Again, left, right, left, right, left, right. Piece of cake. Our time is gonna switch in a moment. So again, hook, hook, straight punch, straight punch, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Again, combine it. Straight, straight, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Straight, straight, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Shake it out a little, and our footwork is gonna change just slightly. We're gonna do a pendulum. So one foot replaces the other. And you swing back and forth. So this pendulum movement is good for kicks, especially. Side kick, side kick. So if I were thinking my opponent is here, it would be side kick, side kick. You can extend that arm out. We'll keep the hands up, nice and long. So we're gonna do three more on the side. Kick, kick, kick kick and turn this foot. Don't forget to turn that foot that you're standing on. Other side, I know that was more than three. Pendulum, kick, kick, kick. Every time this foot must turn, which is why we practice that twist, that heel toe sway, where your whole body turns into it. Three more, one, two, three. that, left, right, hook, uppercut, kick, kick, then move out of the way, hook, hook, elbow, 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 elbow,